Yes, it's week 11, and that means, and I've been waiting since like week 6 to say this, I can no longer count on both hands the number of weeks that I've been doing this. Now I have to start using my toes! This week has been, uh, I think, a phenomenal week. Not only did I get to celebrate my birthday this week, and actually I had really, really hot Wings? That was the clip at the beginning of this video. Those were tremendously hot wings. I think I sweat out some of my body weight just eating that one wing. This week I want to start off by saying the reason I was late Easter long weekend this weekend spent some time with my family. One very positive thing that I woke up to today that I'd like to share with you is this. Yeah, pants fitting for the first time. I don't know how long those pants have been sitting in my closet. A very long time, but I did them up today for fun. I was like, oh, I wonder if these fit. They fit, oh my gosh, yeah! Personal victory! And I actually really liked what Morgan wrote. She's a good friend of mine. She wrote a non-scale victory, and I like that. And so I thought, I'm gonna set a non-scale victory again. So what I'm hoping to do is this. This is my next non-scale victory. As you can see, this shirt, when uh, I do it up, it's kind of a struggle. Buttons pop out. So I'm actually hoping for my next non-scale victory that I'll be actually able to button up this shirt. Okay, so now that we've set that, I think it's also time. I haven't measured myself uh, in, since, well, week one. Uh, and those measurements were like this. Uh, my thighs were 35 inches, chest was 62, and my belly was 66 inches. So I thought that we'd check and compare those measurements to just see how far we are coming along just for week 11. So uh, let's start, we'll start with the legs. Now you may not be able to see this as well. There's my leg there. Measuring it in inches, find the one. I'm happy with that. 31. That would be a total of 4 inches. Let's check this other one. 30 and a half inches. So we're going to round that up and say it's still 31 inches. So both legs are down 4 inches, which, which by my account is really good. 4 inches, both legs, 8 inches in my legs all together. Now to check out the chest. 57. So there's where I was week one. There's where I am now, five inches off of my chest. Now the belly. Not bad. 62 inches when I was at 66 week one, a difference of four inches. So chest down by five, belly down by four, and each leg's down by four. So that's a small victory for me. Yay! And I, you know, I didn't know what to expect. I was a little worried, but being down that many inches, <laughs> that's a small victory. I'll take it. Let's hope in the next time I measure, we even have more small victories. And all those small victories are going to just add up to one big victory. <clears throat> Speaking of another victory, the stair challenge was the winner last week. I asked you guys to vote whether I should do a food challenge or a physical challenge. Food challenge had lots of votes, but unfortunately the physical challenge uh, won. Everyone thought I should do that. And so that was to climb 13 stories worth of stairs. Now I thought it would take me five, 10 minutes. Taking breaks, I thought I'd have to stop, catch my breath, drink water, wipe sweat. I thought, I, I thought it'd be pretty painful. Cause I mean, I didn't want to go up slow paced. I wanted to go up at a jog, at a running pace. Unfortunately, I had someone else film it. Now it wasn't the best quality. What we should have done is had them behind me. Here's the video, I'll speed it up a bit cause it's uh, three minutes long. I don't want to add three minutes onto this video. <laughs> I was really 
really tired afterwards, not gonna lie, and I had to sit down for a few minutes afterwards, but I'm really happy I accomplished it. Going down was the easy part. Needless to say, I was really happy with the outcome of that challenge. So this week, I would love to hear from you. I'd like to do another physical challenge. One, we can do a you suggestion where you tell me what I should do for my physical challenge this week. Or two, could be to conquer that hill that I couldn't quite run up last time, jog up last time. So what do you think? Let me know any way you know how, text message, Facebook message, Twitter, commenting on this YouTube video. Let me know either way, what do you think I should do this week for my challenge? And that's where I'm gonna leave it this week. Uh, small victories are so important and they need to be celebrated. I wanna thank everyone who has been supporting me, sending great comments. As always, they are very much appreciated. Again, thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.